Hey all, this is part 5 of my Gmod guide. I'll be covering a variety of additional stuff you can do with Gmod in this part, which will hopefully help expand what you can do with your animations. Using the Trails tool will allow you to apply trails to objects which appear when that object moves. Simply select a trail, alter its properties by toggling these sliders and then left click on an object to apply it, and right click to remove it. Going to the paint tool will allow you to place down stuff such as blood, scorches, bullet holes, broken glass, cracks in paint. You can also use this tool to remove anything you may have accidentally gotten on an object such as blood by pressing R while facing the object. Going to the console and typing this command will remove all paint you had placed down. You can give objects an edge glow by using the edge glow tool. You can make these signs that SMG4 often uses in their videos by getting the wire mod add-on. Go to the tab labeled wire on the top right, type in text in the search bar, and right click both text entry and text screen in order to add them to a favorites folder so that they're easier to find on repeated usage. Next type in wire and add that to favorites as well. Select text entry and place this keyboard thing down somewhere. Now select text screen and select what type of sign you want to use. You can change the color of the sign and the color of the text that will go on the sign here. And at the top you can change how large and what font the text will be. Now select wire and look at the sign. Select string with the mouse wheel and left click. Then look at the keyboard and select text string and then do not press anything else. What we've done is connect the keyboard to the sign. Now look at the keyboard and press the E key, and then type in what you want the sign to say. The sign will now display this text. Please comment down below if you have issues with doing this. Remember that material tool I mentioned in part 3? Well that can be used to change the textures of any object, and there are plenty of materials to choose from. By the way, using the submaterial tool add-on will allow you to change the texture of only certain parts of a ragdoll. Select the material you want, and then look at the ragdoll you want to alter the textures for. You will see a menu with a list of all the ragdoll's textures. Use the mouse wheel to scroll down the menu to the texture you want to change and then left click to change the texture. Right click to restore the texture to its original state. The last thing I want to mention is the post processes tab. This will allow you to apply different effects to the game such as depth of field, motion blur, and some cool shaders. That's all for this part of the guide, so once again thanks for watching and I hope you found something useful in this part. As for what I'll cover next in this series, I'm not sure. By all 